Hello everyone, if I have to right click on the taskbar, go to the taskbar settings, followed by that, you can see there is the option of copilot in Windows. If I have to turn that off, you will notice that it has disappeared from the taskbar. However, if I have to press the shortcut of the copilot, it's going to open Windows plus C. And as you can see, it has opened the copilot in the right window. So the question is, how can we go ahead and uh, disable copilot permanently? Well, there are actually three methods that you can use. Firstly, there is using the group policy editor, which is available for the uh, Windows 11 uh, editions of such as Pro, Enterprise, and uh, I think Education, I don't know. However, it is not available for the home edition. However, there is the uh, registry editor registry editor that can be used to simply disable it so that is available for windows 11 home edition so firstly let's go ahead and start using the registry editor method press windows r on the keyboard to open the run dialog box you have to go ahead type reg rug edit dot msc sorry uh, remove the msc i have forgotten that yes and once you are here uh, once it is launched you will be the interface will be similar like this so you have to go ahead to the current user and then go to the software and then followed by that you have to go to the policy and you have to come to the windows and once you are here you have to right click on it and choose new select key and now go ahead and type it set uh, type as windows copilot Once that is created, you have, you have to right click in it and choose new and choose D word 30, 32 bit value. Now go ahead, you have to uh, name this uh, as a uh, turn off copilot. That will be the name of that. So you can see turn off copilot. I'm going to simply copy that. So my typing is a little bit slow. That's why I am pasting that here. Now enter. Once you did that, you have to go ahead, uh, open it and now change the value from zero to one and click OK. And all you have to do is go ahead, simply restart the computer and everything will be applied uh, just like that. This way it's going to disable the copilot permanently inside your windows other than that i have also created a registry files for them using notepad as you can see enable windows copilot or disable windows copilot if you uh, go ahead check the components right click on it open with notepad you can just simply download them from description and then you will all you have to do just simply run it and it's going to disable or enable the registry editor let me show you the process if i wanted to disable just double click on that run yes it's asking are you sure and as you can see that's uh, done all you have to do is just simply restart the computer and the changes will apply okay that is the first method and it's available for every edition of the windows that includes the home edition however if you do not if you are not interested using the registry editor always use the group policy editor which is available for windows 11 enterprise and then the pro version so to uh, use it you have to again press windows R on the keyboard and type uh, gp edit.msc gp means group policy editor now it's going to open the uh, interface so as you can see there are two configuration of the computer and then the user now user is only going to work now these settings that you are applying it's only going to work for the current user however if you want to apply it uh, for every uh, for, uh, for the entire computer you have to go ahead and select the computer for now i'll be selecting user go to the administrative templates go to the windows components and now from here you have to find the windows copilot all you have to do is press w on the keyboard and you will see there is the copilot now uh, double click on that and you can see here here is its policy now double click on this policy and it's going to open the policy editor of the copilot now all you have to do is for now just simply select disable click apply and again you have to go ahead restart the computer and then the changes will be applied like that so as as of right now i cannot restart the computer because it's recorded however i'm going to stop the recording and then restart the computer and then we will be uh, will check if windows c is going to work or no if the setting of the copilot is available in the uh, settings app or no will all we will check all of them in after the restart so for now let me go ahead and pause the video so now the pc has restarted let's go ahead and check them out if it has been removed or not firstly let's go ahead check in the settings right click on it and choose taskbar settings so as you can see the copilot has been entirely removed from the uh, settings now if i have to press the windows c 
as you can see it's going to open the microsoft edge so it is as simple as that to simply go ahead and terminate or get rid of the copilot inside your windows i hope this video was helpful to you uh, also if you know another method other than the terminal or if you know another method which is a lot better than this let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to embrace the knowledge for now have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video